You know, with all the change that's going on around us, it's not surprising that a lot of us are finding ourselves in this anxiety bubble. I was talking to my mum uh, over the weekend and she was describing something that happened to her. She was on the phone to a friend and suddenly she found herself without the inability, without the ability to talk. The words just weren't coming out. It was actually a symptom of a migraine that she was having and the migraine was brought on by anxiety. Now, anxiety is really, really common, particularly now. So I uh, took her through a process, a very simple process of just asking three questions. This was a process shared by one of my mentors, Blair Singer, uh, during a session with him. And these three questions, if you ask them over and over, uh, tend to kind of break that bubble and take the person who's suffering from the anxiety um, outside of themselves. So um, if you like, I can share with you these questions. And this is something that you can try on family members, friends, if you're living in a, in a domestic situation and someone's not handling the, the inability to have the freedom they used to have very well, you can certainly try it on them too. So here are the questions. Um, I've actually ordered an iPad. They're in very short supply at the moment. So I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way um, until it arrives with sheets of paper. So you can see that okay and it's not coming out backwards, excellent. All right, so the first question you ask to the person you're working with is, how can I help you? How can I help you? So you ask that question and when they answer it, you just say thank you, it's very important to acknowledge them. And then you ask question number two. Question number two is, how can you help me? And you let them answer that. Be very present with them, listen to what they have to say. And when they're finished saying whatever they've said, you just say thank you. And then the final question, there we go. Okay. How can you help others? Okay, and they, you let them answer that and you say thank you. And you keep asking these questions over and over until you feel them actually going deeper and into themselves and becoming more present. So uh, first up, the, the answers might be pretty straightforward, pretty obvious, they might even be a bit annoyed by it. Uh, but as you continue and just keep asking the questions, it's almost like a kind of a rhythm forms and you just listen to the answers and they start to get more heartfelt, more deep. So what's happening is they're going out of their, their head space uh, and that, you know, where anxiety and fear is kind of in overdrive and they're starting to sink more into themselves. And it's really interesting. I've tried this process a few times and sometimes the answer can be the same to each question. It's really interesting. One tip, do let them know in advance that you're going to ask the question over and over. Otherwise, they might think that you, uh, you've developed Alzheimer's and you've totally gone nuts. Uh, so just explain the process up front so, uh, so that they know what to expect. And the other tip is to not deviate um, because uh, it's a process. It's been very carefully thought out. It's been tried by lots of other people. So don't interfere in that process. Don't be, um, don't start to add comments or say, oh, that's great. Or yeah, that'd be great if you did that. Just, just stick to being the, the person who asks the questions. Now, of course, that's going to provide some relief, but it's only temporary. It's not a major shift. So uh, if you need to create a major shift in yourself, if you would like to permanently move from a state of you know, anxiety, fear, reaction to everything that's going on to where you feel calm and grounded no matter what's going on in your life. And why is that so important? Because unless you're in that calm, grounded place, you can't really think clearly, you can't make decisions. And when you can't make decisions, uh, you can't act. And in that state of inaction, that's when you feel like you're, uh, you're frozen, you're stuck. And I'm sure a lot of us were feeling that even before Corona happened, uh, but uh, a situation like this really emphasizes um, that situation. It uh, exaggerates everything and that's when you really notice it. So if you'd like to know more about that, I'll post you a link to just a very, very short uh, piece I've uh, videoed on this process. Um, that I take people through to help them go from fragile to unbreakable. It's exactly the, the process I wished had been available to me during the financial crisis in 2008. I would have emerged um, uh, in a much more stable place and uh, financially in a much healthier place as well. So that's available to you. I hope you find that useful and I'll see you in the next video.